Have you or someone you love been stuck at a bad tech job? Feeling depressed because respected employers can't find you? We can help. We at Dice.com care about the thousands who've been exposed to bad tech jobs. Register on Dice.com. Don't delay. It's free. And claim your fair share of the best tech jobs from top employers. Just look at what we can do. Fantastic. Typecode got started in 2010. Uh, Andrew and I had worked on our thesis together in design school and worked well together and we figured, what the heck, let's just go for it. And we started off with one client and slowly started adding on additional clients and additional team members and things kind of just grew from there. When Typecode first got going, it was just me and Andrew, and we brought Lev on pretty much right away as a third partner. Then we brought on a fourth partner within the first year. Then over the course of the next two years, kept adding people. Now we're about an eight-person team now. As a hybrid design and development shop, front end is at the core of our business. We love cutting edge HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Uh, on the back end, we'll typically look to Python with frameworks like Django and Tornado, and a database like Postgres. MongoDB or Redis. One of the reasons that we like PostgreSQL is for its high scalability through replication. Sublime Text 3 is great because we can run it across platforms. It runs both on OS X and Linux. As Typecode's been growing over the past few years, we're definitely needing to build out our team of both designers and developers at a pretty even pace. Uh, we try and keep a pretty clean crossover between designers and developers, so it's not kind of one camp of designers and one camp of developers. We're always looking for front-end developers because those probably hit the sweet spot of both design and development shops that are really, really hard to find. Um, anyone who has a good aesthetic, good eye for detail, and, and can also dive pretty deep in the tech stack is, uh, is a very valuable team member in probably any organization, but, but we love to collaborate on the design and, and dev fronts, so the more one crosses over, the better. When Typecode first got going, we had a freelance client already, so that was covering most of the bills. We tossed in a little bit of money to pay the down payment on a shared studio space, but from day one, we've been pretty profitable and we're excited to not have to take on outside funding because that lets us continue to call the shots and kind of grow at a more organic pace, which is great as well. I think the most important piece of advice for diving off on your own in any capacity is definitely needing to be passionate about what you're getting into, being knowledgeable about a domain and, and really enthusiastic about what problems you're trying to solve is kind of the only secret sauce you need until you actually have to execute it. <laughs> and then you get into the real challenge of actually seeing something out.